Hey yo, what's up guys? This is GTX. Alright, so I got another video for you guys today. This one's going to be about uh, in introducing the Radeon software for any of your Radeon drivers. Whether it be the GPU or the CPU or anything like that. So, to start off with this, the first thing you want to do is you want to right click on your screen and see if you have AMD Radeon software. If you do not have this, you can go to the link down in the description and it will bring you to this right here. You want to go ahead and click download now. This will download and auto detect and install your Radeon software for you. But if you know your Radeon software, you can go through your graphics and stuff on here and choose which one you're, you're on. Which mine is going to be the RX series because, uh, well not that RX, but mine's the Radeon RX 580X. So, but you download that and it'll automatically auto detect and install. Once you get it, you'll have AMD Radeon software right here. Once you do that, just right click, click on that, open it up, and you'll be brought to this. So, which you can see my average FPS in some of my games, like, uh, let's see, average FPS 55.2 in Warframe on max settings, Call of Duty at 25.9 at max settings. Uh, Daisy 61.1 frames per second on there. So the first thing as you want to do is you want to go here though to driver and software check for updates it'll check and it'll give you the latest and most concurrent driver. So once you go ahead and do that you can see right here uh, it'll say your upgrade advisory you'll see your game you can click see game compatibility uh, I've got the RX 580 series with an AMD Ryzen 5 1400 quad core processor uh, and you see my my graphics card is good but my CPU it needs to be a little more upgraded so from what we're gonna do is when you get here you're gonna check your update install any update that pops up then you wanna go over here to uh, gaming click on global graphics and you can choose any of these right here. You can choose gaming, esports, power saving, standard, however you want. If you want to do the preset following, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do esports. So I'm gonna go through each one of these, tell you whether it should be enabled, disabled, where you need to have it at, uh, why you should have it, and stuff like that. So rating on anti lag, which you can also check right here. It dynamically adjusts frame taming timing to reduce the lag between user inputs and visual response. I always have this enabled because when you're gaming versus your graphics card you don't want that bouncing back and forth between the game graphics and the GPU usage. So you turn that on and it balances it out and you'll be able to have a standard frame. Uh, Radeon Chill uh, usually keep that disabled unless you're on a laptop. If you're on a laptop do enable it. Uh, Radeon Boost, uh, you can turn that on if you want, but I usually choose to disable it. Uh, what it does is it dynamically reduces resolution during motion to improve performance with little precipitation, perc perceptible impact on image quality. Sorry, I'm not good at English. Only works in supported games for best results. Set the game render scale option to 100%. It works in most games, but it doesn't work in all games. Uh, it won't work in Warzone or DayZ, I know that, or Warframe. So I just keep it disabled because you're not going to really find a game that's going to qualify for Radeon Boost. Radeon Image Sharpening, I keep that on. I have mine set to 50, but a lot of people, they have their set to 20. But I'm going to keep mine at 50. Radeon Enhanced Sync, I have that disabled. Uh, if you're experiencing a lot of lag, even after doing this, you can go in here and you can experiment with this and you can turn it on, but it's going to go to custom and I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep mine at eSports. Uh, but then we're going to go down here. We're going to go anti analysing Uh, we're going to override application settings and we're going to keep that on 2X. anti and we're going to change this to adaptive uh, morphological and we're going to keep that disabled anastrophic filtering disabled 
texture filter quality we're going to set this to performance uh, surface format optimization keep that enabled tessellation mode uh, you want to use the uh, override uh, application setting or you can choose use application settings I like to use override application setting uh, I keep the max tessellation at either 8 or 4 uh, if you leave it at 2 you will probably see a lot of uh, like tearing and pixelization which you don't want that so you keep it either at 4 for lower end PCs 8 for medium and 32 and 64 for higher end but if you're not on that real higher end, maybe go with 16. Uh, open GL uh, triple buffering, keep that disabled. 10-bit pixel formation or format, keep that disabled. GPU workload, you want that on graphics. You don't want that on uh, your your CPU. Uh, reset shader cache. You can do this if you're experiencing a bunch of issues with your your graphics you can just click this and it'll clear all your shader cache and which it will just delete it uh, let's see you can go over to display if you have AMD FreeSync monitor if you have a FreeSync monitor enable FreeSync it will dramatically increase your visual and your performance of your games and you won't experience as much lag uh, virtual super resolution I keep that disabled all that is is it allows applications to render at a resolution higher than the display native pixel grid and then scales images down to fit the display produces higher quality visuals at the expense of performance choosing a higher than native resolution the application to take over advantage of the VSR in other words if you're running on a 1080p monitor and you want to upgrade it to a 2k or 4k monitor I mean you can do that but it's gonna dramatically decrease the lifespan of your monitor so I usually keep that disabled <coughs> uh, GPU scaling enable it you wanna set your scaling mode to full panel uh, interg scaling you wanna disable HDMI link assurance if you're connected to HDMI enable that and then all this does it just fits it to the screen just keep it at zero percent uh, color depth you can change it to whatever you you have options in there I keep mine at eight because that's the only option I can get your pixel format uh, really depends on you if you're on RGB uh, you want to keep it at RGB for TVs and then the YCB CR is for uh, monitors so I keep mine at pixel format of YCB CR uh, you can click here display specs will tell you the specs of your monitor and it'll tell you if you sometimes they'll tell you if you have a free sync available uh, custom color I enable it color temperature and usually I change my contrast to about 80 about 80 or so to kinda give it a more depth color and then the brightness I usually turn that up to about five just so it's right down that border and you got a really nice uh, thing didn't don't do anything with custom resolution uh, video make sure it's set to sports uh, don't worry about demo mode you can go in here and change your hotkeys for anything how you want to open your AMD software uh, you can link your certain accounts uh, devices, AMD's uh, link server is disabled in order to connect your phone, tablet, or TV, etc. Uh, general, this is just where you save all your other stuff. Uh, so, other than that, when you're in here, uh, oh, graphics, you'll see up here when you change something, sometimes you'll get like a, let me see where it I'm gonna see if I can get it to do it. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Yeah, turn that off. Hang on one second. If you click that, you'll see a lot of screen flashing, by the way. And same with this uh, GPU scaling, it, it will do a lot of flashing too, so, as you can tell. 
screen will go black for a second and then it'll come back uh but yeah when you do it you'll have like a save settings and stuff up here go ahead and do that uh let's see and then you also want to go back through to enhance your stuff you want to go down here you want to type in run like this type percent temp percent open this up go in here highlight everything delete do this for all concurrent items skip skip and it'll delete if you have leftover files in here don't worry about it just leave it alone it's fine uh, you wanna go you can go ahead and close out of that go back down here type in run again and type reg edit yes actually no you don't want to go into reg edit Oops. but if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see other videos whether it be uh, optimizing game performance optimizing your PC more going in depth on your network and making your uh, ping lower and your stutters and stuff lowered where you don't stutter as much but you got faster and higher quality internet to your PC uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below hit the like button show me some support and leave 